All right, guys, in today's video, we're going to be talking a little bit about what a developer over at Tripwire had to say about the next generation consoles and how they are a major generational leap and that they are very excited about that. So as you know, I like to highlight any time we hear developers talking about what to expect when it comes to these next generation consoles because these are the people who are currently working with the dev kits and they have the biggest inclination out of anybody really other than Microsoft and Sony themselves as to what we can expect out of these new machines and on top of that we're going to be talking about the Tokyo Game Show and how they have confirmed that both the next generation PlayStation and Xbox will be there and it seems like there's going to be a pretty big emphasis on it as well as cloud gaming so we're going to go over that as well. But before going any further, if you think you're going to enjoy the video or if you do just enjoy the content in general, be sure to hit that like button. It really helps it out and hit the subscribe button as well if you haven't already done that. But it says here, Trip, Tripwire, next gen console hardware, a major generational leap. We are excited about it. With each passing week, the thirst of millions of gamers for Sony's and Microsoft's next-gen consoles becomes stronger as we get closer to the planned holiday season launch. This also means next-gen console development kits are in the hands of game developers all around the world by now. While there are certain things they cannot say yet, probably because Sony and Microsoft will want to reveal those themselves, many developers are starting to open up about the possibilities enabled by the hardware of the PlayStation 5 and next-generation Xbox. While interviewing Tripwire Interactive, um, and they're actually the developers of the upcoming Shark PG, I think is what they're calling it, called Man Eater, which I believe you literally play as a shark going around uh, eating people. Um, this is what they had to say. Uh, this is what the specific developer had to say when asked about the next generation consoles. Without giving away anything I'm under NDA with, I think they are a major generational leap. Some of the things that people are talking about, like SSDs, well, people tend to think about faster GPUs and faster CPUs, but 5200 RPM hard drives are terrible with long load times. We have an open world game like Maneater, and it means we can only have the shark move so fast because other things can't stream in, in time. It really opens up what you can do with the game. The other things like the faster GPU and CPU, those things are great too, and more RAM. All of those things are a pretty big generational leap. I'm really excited about what we'll be able to do with our current and upcoming games on new hardware. So this is a really nice thing to hear from a developer. I mean, the truth is there are some developers, I believe it was maybe Platinum Games, who actually went on record saying that they're not too excited about the next generation of consoles because they feel as though it's kind of more of the same and we're not going to see that big of a difference. But I've also seen some people kind of push back on that, saying that Platinum Games has never really been the type of studio to really push hardware to its limit. So I don't really have anything to say about that other than I'm just always interested to hear what developers have to say in general. It seems like much more developers are on the side of the fence where they're saying this is actually a pretty big generational leap. This is pretty significant and it's something that gamers and developers as well are pretty excited for. And for me personally, you guys know, I'm extremely excited for next generation and when it comes to what we can expect to see. It is going to be, I think, a situation where it's not just about the graphical upgrades, right? It's not just about the overall graphical fidelity. That will be a very big part of it, of course. Like, I think people are going to be blown away at some of the stuff they see running on these next-gen consoles. But when we always talk about those SSDs, I think they're going to play such a huge role in defining the next-gen consoles and kind of separating them from anything we've had up until this point. And the big thing I really want to focus on here and just highlight before moving on to the next topic is that I love to hear developers claiming that it really is a next generation leap. Like it is a big leap, a significant leap. I say it all the time and I will continue to say it that the biggest thing I'm excited for or am always excited for when it comes to upgrading to a next generation console is knowing that when I spend that money and I buy that console and I upgrade, it truly feels like from day one, it is a significant leap forward because the biggest disappointment would be buying a next generation console that does feel like more of the same or just a very slight upgrade. I mean, I think people with the mid-generation consoles with the PlayStation 4 Pro and the Xbox One X, 
we kind of understood that this is not a next generation leap. It is a significant leap in some areas, for sure, but definitely not a next generation leap. However, this time around, people will be expecting something big, and it seems like with both the PS5 and the Xbox series, we are going to get that, which is awesome. And we have developers pretty much backing that up. But moving on from that, we're going to be talking about Tokyo Game Show 2020. It says Tokyo Game Show 2020 gets first details, will feature next-gen consoles and new cloud gaming area. Today, the CESA, Computer Entertainment Suppliers Association, that organizes Tokyo Game Show every year, reached out with a press release including the first details. First of all, we learn about the theme for the exhibition that will run between September 24th and September 27th, so it's going to be quite some time before we get around the Tokyo Game Show, but it's still nice to get the details. And it's going to happen at the traditional Makuhari Messe venue in Chiba near Tokyo. The theme is the future touches gaming first with the promise to feature next-gen consoles and new technologies like 5G and cloud gaming. The theme of TGS 2020 is the future touches gaming first. Games are the most updated and accessible means to experience the emerging technologies that will unlock new possibilities for the future. With the theme of this year, the event expects to provide an opportunity for people to touch and play the latest games and immerse themselves in the feel of an exciting future that is just around the corner. Featuring novel game consoles for the next generation, TGS 2020 is sure to attract even more attention from around the world. The event will focus on the full-fledged launch of cloud gaming and its advanced gaming environment, such as the start of 5G services for the commercial use, and will boost the unprecedented gaming experience brought by new platforms. Moreover, TGS 2020 will host the area where visitors can explore new frontiers of games through crossing over with education, fashion, arts, and other industries. TGS 2020 will team up with various popular influencers from Japan and overseas to create buzz prior to the event, not only for visitors, but also for game fans who cannot be at the venue on the event days. Through tie-ups with domestic and overseas media partners and multiple video platforms, the latest news on the event will be released in Japanese, English, and Chinese to reach the growing number of online viewers on a global scale. And it continues here in the esports field, which, frankly, I'm not going to read much about that because I'm not really into esports and I don't think many of you here are either. I will have this link down below, though, so you can actually read the entire thing for yourself because this does go on for quite a while here where they just continue to explain every single thing that they're going to be offering. Uh, during TGS, but the big thing there, obviously, that we read is they're planning to have a big, you know, presence with Tokyo Game Show, they're talking about having the next-gen consoles there, and they are also talking about cloud gaming, obviously, I'm not too excited about cloud gaming, but it is going to be interesting to see how people begin to respond to it as it starts to roll out and become more of a significant thing, Um, a more practical thing, I guess is the way to put it, but it's going to be exciting that the uh, next-gen consoles are going to be there. It seems that Tokyo Game Show is fully expecting Sony to show up. Again, this is happening in September, so you have to imagine that Sony will certainly be talking about the PlayStation 5, and then Microsoft will certainly be talking more about the Xbox series before this time. Uh, This will be after E3. It is, you know, quite a ways from now, but it'll be interesting because if for some reason... Uh, there are any issues leading up to this, then there's a chance that Tokyo Game Show's plans could change, but they're making these plans pretty far in advance, and they're coming out here letting people know what to expect Expect pretty far in advance. So that tells me that as of right now, things are going pretty smoothly. We have been talking a little bit here on the channel about how there is a chance that Sony could be running into some type of manufacturing issues or any other type of issues that could possibly delay the console, but it's not looking likely that that's going to happen. Of course, things could change, but I think as things stand right now, looking at the way things are proceeding, I think everything's going fine. I don't think there's any serious problems internally with Sony, and clearly they plan to be at Tokyo Game Show, and I think Tokyo Game Show is going to be a pretty significant thing. It's going to be interesting to see what type of announcements Sony wants to hold to possibly uh, reveal or announce during Tokyo Game Show. We really don't know yet, but there you go. We have a developer coming out here talking about these next generation consoles, expressing how they believe it is going to be a significant leap forward. And the biggest thing he seemed to focus on was the speed of the SSDs and how big of a difference they're going to make when it comes to what they can do in their games. 
always exciting. He did talk about the CPU, the GPU, and the RAM, and just essentially saying, look, it's going to be a pretty big leap. And then we also have the first details on Tokyo Game Show, where they do confirm that both the next-gen consoles will be there, and there will be a massive area dedicated to cloud gaming and 5G. So it's going to be interesting to see which of those two ends up being more popular. That's one thing I forgot to mention here is when this show does happen, it's going to be interesting to see what attracts more attention. Are people going to be more interested in these new consoles? or are more people going to be interested in cloud gaming and checking that out and it's also going to be interesting to hear the responses uh, from people who test this stuff out so that does it for the video guys i hope you did enjoy it or found it informative if you did be sure to leave it a like don't forget to leave your thoughts down in the comments below subscribe to the channel if you're new and haven't already hit the bell notification icon so you never miss an upload and feel free to share this video out on top of all that but until next time guys take care